Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome new viewers to some more Stormworks. Today we are back work Today we are back working on the excavator build. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into the workbench and let's start building this thing. Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome new viewers to some more Stormworks. As you can see, we are working as you can see, we are back working on our excavator build. We have already got our engine done, so we need to start working on, say, the body and a few other things with it. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into the workbench and let's get started on this thing. All right, in the workbench here. Uh, first things first, I've got to address something. Um, these radiators do not work. Uh, I started testing this engine out after doing the video and found out that stacking radiators like this actually deletes the coolant in the system. Uh, so if I was to spawn this in right now, and we can do this for an example here, uh, I've got it spawned in and it will not run liquid through the system. So I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if this is a, a bug in game or what, but yeah, we are just not, we are not moving any kind of fluid. So we've got to rebuild that. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that. That's just a thing. Um, so we're going to rebuild the, uh, coolant system here today real quick, and then we'll start jumping on some other things and then we'll get, uh, we'll get moving on. Uh, so all I'm really going to do is just, we're going to delete all the coolant there. Uh, let's do it both sides and that way we can go quicker. Uh, we're going to delete all that. We'll delete these radiators here. Um, we I think we're just going to delete the whole system here. Honestly, uh, let's do this, this, we'll do all that. Yeah, we're deleting the whole system. Uh, we're gonna move this up forward. We'll delete that. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing for fuel. You know what, let's, uh, so I don't have to reconnect. Let's just cut and paste. And we'll do that to both sides. All right, cut and paste, and we'll merge those to the main body. And there we go. And we'll just have to redo all of this piping here, which is not, if I can grab it, it's not a problem. There we go. And we'll grab that. We'll do like that. Let's come in here and delete, delete, delete. Let's grab that little T block there, delete. There we go. All right, fuel is hooked back up. No worries, that's done. Uh, coolant, coolant, we are back on coolant here. Uh, so let's do something like this. I think we'll go down and around like so. We'll wrap our batteries. I think that's how this will work. Let's grab our radiator first, radiator. Radiator's gonna go right there. Uh, so this will have to be an angled piece here as well. Boop, 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 like that. We'll go down with this. Yeah, I think it's gonna work much better. Uh, plus we'll have the larger radiator on here as well. Uh, so we'll just do that. We'll come in here, we'll zoop across there like that. Perfect. Now we delete three blocks, delete three blocks. Uh, come in here and we're gonna grab a pump. Uh, can we find pump? Here we go, pump. Uh, and I want, let's see, hang on. B, so we need the flow to go this way. And it sucks, there's no arrow on these pumps, but if you can just remember the, the side with the ring on it is the is would, would be the arrow pointing side. Uh, so that's an easy way to kind of remember these pumps and the flow direction of those. Um, do, 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 do. We need to connect all these up to our switch here. Pump, 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 fan, fan, gearbox. We don't need that, okay. Uh, so that is done. We have coolant system working now. I don't think we're gonna need our secondary coolant system. I'm not gonna mess with that right now because I wanna go ahead and get into building today. Uh, but I did wanna get this coolant system figured out here. Uh, I believe we need power as well. Let's get some power. Power, 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 power. Oh, power, come on, come on. Look at there, okay. Let's spawn this in. I just wanna double check, make sure that there is a some uh, fluid running through the system here. Uh, this should work. Okay, come on, turn the key on. Engine doesn't need to start. We just need to see flow through here. And yeah, we do have fluid flowing through A and B on the radiator now uh, and through all of our pumps. Oh, perfect. Okay, so that's not wanting to start. Not a problem. Uh, the issue we were having there is that the throttle was not connected to the clutch, that we just had the clutch on right away as we were trying to crank. So we had resistance on the engine and that was causing some problems there. Um, as far as this goes, we are ready to go here. We can actually start, uh, let's delete the fuel, the gearbox and the generator here. And we are now set to start building our body for this. I think, Hmm, how do we start this? Let's, um, I guess let's put a little platform on the bottom here that, that could work there. Let's, uh, drag it out a little bit. I'm really concerned, not concerned. There's no concern here. I'm actually just kind of confused on where to go from this. Um, let's, let's think about this. I'm gonna need 
to separate the power. That power is going to need to go into two clutches at least. Okay, easy enough. Now let's take that power back up and I want to get some gearboxes. And we'll just use the small ones for this because, yeah, hmm, that's not going to work the way I wanted it to. Let's say I got to figure out what we're going to be putting on here. Should we do tank treads? Let's do tank treads. Um, I think these big boys will look good on here too. Uh, how close can we put these together? Like that. So how far? We'll need to build ourselves a frame here to start working off of. Okay, can I grab this wheel? There we go. And ooh, I don't know if we want one more far back like that. Let's go get rid of those. Let's go forward with it. We go forward. Perfect. We can go forward. We grab one more wheel, one more wheel, and out like that. Perfect. Nice. This thing's going to be a beast, you guys. Uh, but I'm thinking on the scale of, say, like quarry vehicles. Uh, I'm kind of wanting something in between, like something that works in a quarry and something that just kind of can work in your backyard. Uh, so we're kind of going for that happy medium there. So that's why we're doing things so big here. Uh, let's get, let's go up here. We need to have something. And you know what? That's fine right there. Until we can figure out where this actual tank wheel can go. Let's put it. I think right there actually might look good. Uh, I feel like though, you know what? And I think we are, I think we're too close to this engine. Let's come out by say two blocks. We'll widen this thing up. Uh, we'll have to do the same hearing here. We'll widen this up. All that will be deleted later. Uh, back to the tank wheels. I think we had one there, 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 and there. Okay, cool. And our drive wheel will be somewhere there. That works. I think that works. Uh, it's a little wider. That's nice. Uh, let's get this out of the way. Let's delete this. We can delete all of that. And I guess, you know, we'll delete all that because we got to run gears to this. Okay. So there we are there. Let's, I guess we'll just fill that in right there. Let's go back and grab our gears. And I know from working with tanks, this is going to take a lot of gear boxes. Uh, one of them is just going to be a reverse gear. We got to go reverse and this goes reverse. Okay, and that will control our actual tank steering. Uh, the other two, we're gonna, whoops, we're gonna crank these up to three to one because this engine is gonna have so much power uh, that we're gonna need this. Um, and what we're doing is we're actually facing the gearboxes the wrong way. The gearboxes are the wrong way. Let me turn these around. Um, I don't want speed out of this. I want torque and power. So that's why we're gonna do things like this. Okay, so changing all these back, negative one, negative one, We'll do three to one on both of these. This engine should provide more than enough power to turn these and get this thing moving. Uh, and hopefully that'll keep us on a lower RPS as well. Uh, now we got to get to these gearboxes or these clutches. Um, how do I need to get to those? Let's come this way with it. And we could just do this. We could just go clutch. Uh, which way is that? That's B. So let's turn this around. Doesn't usually matter, but I just want to make sure. Uh, so we'll do that. And now we just got to go up from here to here. Okay, easy enough. And it looks like we might still have room for our fuel tank to come back here again. Um, how do we want to do this? I want this to kind of have a slope here in the back too. So I don't want to restrict myself too much here. All right, so we can do that. We can come back from there. Yep, and we'll just do a wedge piece. Or not a wedge, a corner. And there we go. Cool. Uh, so now what we can do is we can come up in here. And we can do this, which is nice because that'll give us a nice, uh, nice angled back end here. We'll just do all that. Oh, you guys, you didn't want to work with me. Perfect. Okay, not a problem. We'll just fill all this in. Hey, okay, perfect. Done there. Okay. Um, maybe maybe a little edge there, and then we'll go back over top of the engine. I think that could work. Oh yeah. And then we got the stacks and the the turbo sticking out top. That's cool. Okay, that's cool. I actually dig this. Um, not a bad shape. Not a bad shape. Uh, let's. I want to get too carried away up front here because we do have some work to do here. And there we go. All right. So I am gonna want some sort of access to this engine here if we have troubles. Uh, where can I? I think here is gonna be the edge. Nope. We got pipes in the way. We're we gonna be all the way out here. I think we're gonna be all the way out there with it. That's all right though. We've got uh, we got plenty of room to work with. Plenty of room. Let's clear this, 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 and we can fill that in. We do have one little gearbox showing through, but you can't really even see it. So no worries. All right. So now I'm gonna grab myself a hinge. 
and we'll just grab a regular robotic door hinge here. All right, and we'll stick that like so. Should we move this back one more? Let's move this back one more. And that should be good. And then we'll build ourselves a door off of this. We'll come like that. We'll come like that. Uh, and then we'll come down off of it. Come on, we'll do down. Is that going to be enough to give us a door? Uh, that should be. Let's get a switch. Give ourselves a tiny little switch box here. We'll do that. We will go ahead and hook these guys up. Switch box and switch box. Most likely we'll have to change this to a one. No, not 11. Just one. One's good. And so far, so good on the body. Let's open this up a little bit and give us a nice little viewing window. How about some rails, maybe? Rails? Will those look good in there? Come on, can I, can I turn that around? Hmm, that's gonna... I mean, I kind of dig that. That's... I feel like that gives the engine some room to breathe. All right, cool, whatever. Let's, uh, let's go with that. What if we rounded this off? I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to round the rest of this off now. Okay, we'll round that off. Okay, no worries. And we'll round that off. Cool, starting to get somewhere. Uh, let's spawn this out. I wanna see what these tank treads look like. Oh, that's good. That looks aggressive. That looks really good and aggressive. So now we gotta get the cab on here, hook things up, and see if this thing will start to drive. Yeah, nice back end. So if we back up over anything, we'll just slide up over it. And we got plenty of room up here for fuel tanks and driving cab. Uh, let's grab it. All right, so we're gonna fill in this bottom section here. Perfect, not a problem. I do see a little bit of gray, it's it's stupid. Uh, I just gotta paint this. I know it's the back side of the microcontroller, but I just need to get it done. Uh, that's done there. Hmm, okay. Now we need a cab for this thing and I need to go ahead and get all this out. Let's go ahead and break all this out of here. Oop, oop, grab that, we'll cut it, slide it down, rotate it. Flip it. That's probably how it's going to be when we do start building. And there we go. We'll just leave it right there for right now. Uh, we'll fill this in. And you know what we're going to do? Let's take this. Let's get rid of these air ports here. And let's put an air ram. Uh, this will fit nicer in this little slot here, I think. Uh, and there we go. Perfect. And we have our air. Oh, we got to we gotta put some stuff up here, too. There we go. Perfect. Painted it. All right. So the cab, I feel like... No, let's do tanks first. Hang on. Let's get the tanks in here. We're gonna need some big old fuel tanks. I wanna make sure we don't run out. Uh, so we'll have fuel here. If I can get this to rotate right. There we go. Okay, we can connect up there. Do I have room to move the pipes around? I do. Uh, could I get another tank on top of this? I don't think we'll need all of this fuel, but it would be nice to have said fuel. Okay, I think that's gonna work. Let's go back to pipes. That's not how you spell pipes at all. There we go, pipes. What we'll do is we'll do a T. We'll come down into a pipe T. Okay, can we get that in the right position? There we go. Let's get a straight piece. Those are connected. Now we got to get to the back of this vehicle here. Uh, so if we can find our spot here to look through, we'll go here, corner piece, corner piece. Oh, we need to go both sides, don't we? We need to go both sides. Where is our fuel port? There is our fuel port, so we can get rid of all that, that. Get rid of that. Let's find ourselves a corner. Let's hit that corner there. Am I gonna have room? I'm not gonna have room. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Uh, straight piece, corner. We gotta come down with it. Come on, just, there we go, down. Then we'll come down. Let's go all the way to the floor with it. Rotate, rotate this, there we go. And come in here and drag this all the way down. Okay, I think we're too far there, yep. Not a problem, and let's get what we can see just in here. Okay, we need a corner, two corners. No, we need a T, because we gotta go both ways with this. Uh, so we'll do a T, couple straights, straight, straight, and a corner. All right, and there we go. Fuel is all hooked up. We've got quadruple tanks here. Uh, let's cover quadruple tanks up, and you know what we can do here is we can give ourselves some fluid hoses. Boom, now we have uh, the ability to refuel this thing. All right, um, the cab of this thing. The cab, the cab, the cab. Most of these things, the cab either sits up on top here or like kind of at front. Um, I'm not sure, okay, what's going on there? Why is that doing that? Okay, starting to understand this game. Several thousand hours later and I'm starting to understand this game. All right, um, hmm. I'm starting to think that maybe this is too high up here and that we should, in fact, put our seat here. 
we'll deal with that pump later. We'll, we'll, we'll see what this looks like. Yeah, I think that's going to be the way to do it. I think that's going to be the way to do it. Okay, so we'll, we'll hide all of that. We'll hide all of this. And we'll just put some pipes in here. We don't have to change any of that. That's a straight pipe. Close that. And let's get a T-pipe in here. Okay, we'll rotate till we get that. Oh, no, that's not right. Rotate until we get it right. Rotate, rotate, rotate. There we go. All right, so that's done. That is done. Um, we need our seat. We're gonna need a seat for this thing. And then the cab. Okay, so let's go for seat. Uh, I'm just gonna grab the regular driver's seat. Why not? It is what it is. Uh, should we move this thing forward? Should we let this thing kind of overhang so we can kind of look they maybe down at what we're doing as well? I think that might be a thing. Let's do that. Okay, so we'll do that. Uh, do we need anything in front of... I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we need to do here. Uh, let's build our cab. So we'll do that. Uh, all of this can be cab area. So we'll do build it up here. And then we'll build it up here. And obviously it's not going to be closed off like this. We will put some windows and things in here to make this a little bit easier to see. I just want to kind of block it out, find out where we're going with it. Uh, maybe one more higher, I think. One more higher. And I think that should do it there. Yeah, it's not too bad. I think that's all right. Let's uh, let's fill in that. Uh, we'll make this, we, you know what we can do? We can put us a little tiny seat back here for uh, for riders. This is what we'll do. There we go. So if your friends want to come along, now they can come along. Uh, let's, now that we know that that's about the height that we want, let's get rid of all that. We'll fill in this, fill in that. Get rid of all that. Let's get windows. I think if we start with some windows, we'll actually be able to see kind of what's going on here. And I'll need to be able to get in this thing as well. So let's leave us a three by three gap right there. Um, let's not do that. Let's do this. Let's do that. We'll fill in the top there. Mm, wedges across the top there. That looks all right. And let's do this. Let's grab ourselves some spots. I'm all over the place today, guys. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I stick with one, one, one thing going on here and I'm all over the place. So we'll do that. That looks ugly. Um, so we won't do that. Let's maybe put them up top. We'll do that with some edges like that. Eh, it looks a little better. Eh, it's not great, but it looks a little better. And we'll do like a little set of eyes up here. Okay, so now we got to figure out these windows here. Uh, do we want a three by three on the front section here? Can I even three by three there? No, I cannot. Um, okay, so back to windows. Windows, windows, windows. There we go. Well, uh, that's the wrong one. Where is the one that I want? There it is. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll do that. I think we'll need this guy, the one by three, to fill in this spot. Will that go ever? Rotate, rotate. Okay, that works. Uh, now let's grab one of the three by threes. And that fits in there. Not nice. Okay. Hmm. So we might have to move the seat back by one. Uh, that should be okay. Let's do that. Not much is going to change there. That's okay. Nope, nope, that was wrong. One more rotation. There we go. All right, so let's get our cab laid out here. There we go. And now we've just got to come under here and do some things. Uh, so is this the right wedge? That is not the right wedge. Nope, that's not the right one. Uh, this should be the one. That is the one. Now that we got that, let's come in and let's drop all our angled pieces like so. This one down here like so, maybe. Oh, that piece is in the way now. Okay. We're learning things as we go. All right, let's get another angled piece. I need a one by one angle. Put one there, one slide in there, and then I need a one by one. Okay. Not that we're trying to seal this up or anything, because obviously we're not, but I just want to make this look right. Okay, there. Perfect. Window. Perfect. Okay, so all of this now has to be window. So we got some windows coming back here. We'll put our one by threes in the corner here. Perfect. Uh, and actually, I think all of this should be window as well. Honestly, I really do. I think it should be. Uh, so let's let's curve this out. Grab another one of these. Now we should have maximum visibility around this entire thing. I'm actually digging this. This looks it's very boxy, but I'm, I'm digging it. Um, that, that leaves us room right here for our pivots, uh, which could be a good thing. So I might just slop those down right now, just to go ahead and have those. 
like so perfect that'll be for our arms later uh we need to drag this stuff in here as well let's go ahead and paint this up all right i'm just gonna paint all this nice and yellow get that ready to go into the spot there we go boop all nice and yellow let's selection grid we're gonna grab all that clear but honestly i don't think i need the throttle you know i don't need the throttle Ooh, okay i need all the other pieces though uh paste uh, i don't need the throttle i need the key and the other piece though let's grab that cut we'll slide that into the area here and where do we want this to come on, out of my way i say we just plop this straight on the ground here um i don't know why else we would put it anywhere else uh maybe later we'll move it but not much other reason to have stuff there okay so let's do that that let's fill in that Actually, no, 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 no. This is what we're going to do. Let's take this. We're going to put our ladder here. Ladder. There we go. Now, oh, can I not put them there? Okay, so now I can't put them there. So we'll just put an extra one there and there. Maybe there. And then on the corner like that. Is that going to let us climb up? I don't think that's going to let us climb up good. Let's test it. Oh, I'm digging this thing. This thing's starting to look really good, you guys. Uh, let's try our ladder here. Okay, it just yeets us off the side here. Uh, so that's not going to work well. Hmm. Maybe if we just do it like that. Maybe that will be better. Let's try. If this doesn't work, we might just scrap the ladder altogether. Because I think you can grab the seat from... Yeah, you can grab the seat from jumping. Uh, will that allow us to... Okay, that does a little hop skip, and then we're up, we're up here. All right, perfect. Uh, I don't like the yellow seat, so let's change that to my brown leather that I like to do. Okay, let's do that. We'll paint the seat brown, paint that brown. Let's come in here with some gray. We'll paint all this gray so we can tell what is interior. And that painted something in here. I just saw it. It just painted this guy here. Okay. All right. I'll paint it up. All good to go. All right. Let's start hooking some. Oh, let's do this. Real quick. Let's paint my windows. Paint my windows nice and black. Get all that painted up. Makes that look official. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. And we'll fix that. Doot, doot, doot. Nobody saw that. All right. Um, let's see. Let's get in here. Oh, oh. Get that black. We'll paint this gray. Get underneath. That, that is gray already. Okay, perfect. Uh, do I need to paint that gray? Uh, it's going to make all that gray. Uh, maybe we'll put a paint block in there to finish painting that. Uh, let's do that. What did I just delete? The wrong block okay so we'll grab that one we'll paint that like so grab our yellow let's paint everything actually let's paint everything gray and then we'll paint yellow on the outside because that'll be the easy thing to do right and we painted our window all right that side's done we can do the same thing over here all right paint all that up perfect paint the window again obviously and let's come in here and let's paint our ceiling oops nope 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 undo Let's paint the inside gray as well. All right, we need to paint our windows in the back. So many little things here all of a sudden. I'm noticing we got to get done. Wait, what? All right, paint, paint brush. There we go. That's done. That's done. Let's paint these. Perfect. That's pretty much there, you guys. Uh, let's here. Let's uh, paint up in here. Paint that. We'll paint that. And we'll copy and paste that. Uh, I didn't. Let's do that. Let's bring out this tool here. Clear. Nope. I want the one behind it. I want the one behind it. Okay. You know what? Let's do that. Let's move it. There we go. Boop. Gotcha. Copy. And we'll paste that sucker in. Is that right way? Is that the right way? I don't think that's the right way. Where is... There we go. That's the right way. Paste. Slide it over. Just turn it. Paste. And we gotta make sure we merge these. Come on. Merge. Merge. Merge for the cause. There we go. Merge. Okay. Uh, let's let's start hooking some things up here. Uh, that's hooked up. That's hooked up. Uh, let's go with our seat. W and S is going to be our throttle. Okay. Perfect. Uh, let's go with button number. Let's say six. Six will open our engine hatch. Engine hatch. And I don't like lowercase. I don't like lowercase. We'll try that again. In engine hatch. Okay, perfect. All right, that is done. Uh, now I need to grab. Oh nope. Now I need to grab a microcontroller that we can control our tank treads with, 
And that's going to be pretty simple. Uh, let's paint that. That fix it over there. Perfect. Uh, if you guys have seen my tank build tutorial, we're going to be using the same microcontroller that we used for that. Uh, so I'm literally just going to grab that, plop it on here, and then hook it up. If you guys want to know how to make that microcontroller, um, there's a tutorial. Uh, it's in my tutorial playlist. Uh, so let's grab that, and let's get these tank treads hooked up. All right, there's our tank tread microcontroller. Let's go ahead and start hooking this thing up and getting this thing moving. This thing is pretty simple to hook up, you guys. Uh, so first things first, let's go. Let's get our tank steering here. We want A and D. Uh, that's going to be our steering. Our throttle is going to come out of our... Actually, no. Let's go throttle. W and S is going to be our throttle. And throttle is going to go into our... Microcontroller. Okay. Yep. 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 There we go. Perfect. Uh, did I hook that up? That's hooked up. Now we need left reverse gear. That was that one there. Right reverse gear. That was that one there. Left clutch, right clutch. And we're all set. Uh, no composite, no anything else. We're all good to go there. That is done. Let's make sure everything has power. It does not. We'll give our hinges power there. We give our clutches power. Give our gearboxes power. We'll go ahead and give our arms power here and we'll give our lights power. Oh, we need to hook up our lights here. Uh, let's hook up our lights to button one. Button one good for you guys? Sounds good. Okay, button one, lights, 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 lights. We'll just call them spots. So, so pots, close enough. Spots and let's spawn this in. And let's give this thing a test drive, you guys. All right, let's use our ladder since our ladder does kind of work here. Okay, we, oh, okay. Ladder is a 50 50, 50 50 thing here. Okay, uh, good thing it's not an airplane. All right, uh, main circuit breaker. We might move this because I can't see this. Engine is on. And we are running. Are we running? We are running. Let's test things. Okay, spotlights work. Uh, engine hatch. Engine hatch is being blocked by... Oh, it's going the wrong way, too. Mm, okay, so we'll have to work on that. Not a problem. Uh, can we drive forward? No. We cannot drive forward. Okay, now i got to figure out what's going on here. Uh, first things first, clearly these hatches were the wrong way. Now they're the right way to work, but they'll probably still have some clipping issues, and we'll figure that out. Uh, the other thing is, why weren't we moving? Why were we not moving? All right, uh, looks like it helps to hook up the clutch. So maybe that was where I was going wrong. Uh, let's see if that was our problem and maybe this thing will move now. Okay, turn the power, let's get cranked up. All right, so there we go, guys. We have a functioning tank now. Uh, we, we've built the body for this thing. This is pretty great. Uh, we should be able to move around pretty good. We've got tons of power. Uh, there's our other engine there. Uh, so we've come a long way from just having an engine to now having the engine and body, tank treads, cab going. Uh, this build's coming along pretty great. Uh, let me jump in real quick. Let me hide those microcontrollers and let me see if I can fix the door here for the engine compartment. So let's work on this door here real quick. I think if we do this, do that, let's grab that. We'll stick that right there for now. Um, I think this door was too low, honestly. Okay. Is that going to clear the tires? That might not clear, but we'll see. I think there's no clip here, so we should be good. Uh, let's do this. Let's put our grate back here. Uh, let's hide these microcontrollers. We do have some room down here. Okay. Uh, I think for this one, what we'll do is just flip it and just drop it right there. And merge that. Perfect. That one controls that. And probably do the same thing here for the tank treads. Uh, cut it, flip it, send it straight down. Paste it, merge it, and paint it, because that's a different color. There we go. All right, cool. Those are in. Let's see if that will actually open up there, too. I don't know why I started the engine. Habit. Uh, let's see if those doors open. Oh, there's a little bit of little bit of issue there, I'd say. Um, 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 okay, cool. So what is clipping? Did I not build it right on this side, too? Hmm. It's just hitting it enough that it's causing problems. Just hitting it enough that it's causing problems. So maybe we get out one more here. 
We just need to, be able to get to the engine and say, put it out if there's a fire or something in there. That's all these doors are really for. Okay, so now we've gotten that. Let's go back to rails. Let's grab the same one. I don't think it's gonna fit the way it did last time. So maybe we do something like that. That's pretty good. I can deal with that. It'd be nice too if we had one in the back here. If we could open up the back so we could access the clutches and stuff like that. Maybe next time. Uh, let's, one more time, let's jump in. Let's test this out, see if that works. I wanna get these things functioning right before we, uh, we end it here. Uh, and doors open, no power. Doors open. What is it, what is it hitting? Hang on, what is it hitting? I don't think it's clipping on anything. I'm just getting confused now. And it's only this side that's clipping. So let's take a look real quick. Let's see. It gets to right there and then it's stuck. I thought there was no clip with the treads. I thought there was no clip with these treads here. What if, let's try this. Maybe we're getting stuck on these corners here. We'll try, we'll try everything. We'll get it working. Man, it still clips. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna be doing this, uh, these doors like this. I don't understand what it is clipping on, unless it's this here that's clipping. Maybe let's do this. Let's try this. One, one last thing here to try to get these working, and if not, we'll just move on. All right, power. Does this work? Oh, it's bugging out. It is bugging out. So it doesn't need a full, a full one signal. Maybe that's where we're going wrong here. So maybe 0.9. 0.9. I think it's hitting that catalytic converter, to be honest. I think that's what... Okay, jump up in there. Come on, jump up in there. Get in the seat. I think it was hitting this catalytic converter. Yeah, that's what it's doing. It's hitting the uh, the catalytic converters. Okay. Can we fix that issue? Not without causing too much problems. Um, Maybe we should do that. Maybe just that. Let's try that. All right, it still hits it, but that does allow us to get in there and it's not doing anything kind of buggy. So now we can get in there, we can spray out our engine, weld our engine, do whatever you need to repair wise. I think we probably will end up moving those exhaust pipes though. Yeah, because it's still hitting them just a little bit. But uh, yeah, guys, there we go. There is our body build for our front loader. If you guys are enjoying this build series, make sure you throw a like on this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And yeah, guys, we'll be doing more of this as well as more of classic career series. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you 100% and we will see you guys in the next one.